All right, these are winder stairs that I put in a home in Warner, New Hampshire that are built to the new code that didn't used to exist the last time I put in winder stairs. Done so many colonials with straight stairs, they had changed the code. And even the architect apparently wasn't aware of it because he had it wrong on the plans. So that's my first step. That's a winder right there. And that's over six. They're actually running around seven and a, probably about a half. And then they're over 10 inches, 12 inches in, which is what the code, requ code requires six, but obviously you have the overhang above. So the actual step's about seven and a half which would put you about six and a half when you clear the nosing. So that's be the first step. And that line right there is the second step. You can see I'm standing on the first winder right now. And here's the second winder. And here's the third winder. So the problem is you lose between that distance of this tread, this tread, that tread, and that tread. Obviously you're using up a foot each side now, but you get four steps, so, so you still gain two steps, but a whole lot different than it used to be. And you could run them all off the point right there before you used to run them right off that post. Alright, so we'll go back up. So again, that's the first winder. That's the second winder. And there's your third winder. the fourth and last winder. Now we're just back to regular steps all the way up to the top. So that's it completed.